what's up everybody Tiffany outdoors here today we're gonna do an end of the season clean out on the BSF black soldier fly bin stay tuned there's the hawk before there was a Tiffany outdoors there was Tiffany the farmer So I'm going to tell you some of the issues that we've had with this and why we're going to do a total clean out and do some modifications on it. So the first issue that we had is this was re retaining too much moisture in there and so we're going to clean it out totally and once my drill is charged up I'm going to ooh, let me get out of the way there. And it's a shame because there's a lot of BSF in there. Yes, but, there but what I'm going to do is we have to drill some drain holes in here to get some drainage because this stuff here was getting too wet. There was so much moisture on top of it and it was just a mess. Also, the ramp, so they were getting underneath the ramp and they were coming out. Open up this. There we go. So they were down below, they were not in the collection bin, they were down there. So we're going to make some modifications to the ramp also. First things first, get this thing cleaned out. Alright, so that, this right here is the bottom of the ramp and the, the black soldier fly larvae were small enough to squeeze underneath there. So we're going to take some caulk and go along there and then go up the ramp also on both sides. All right, this is still kind of moist. I hope this works. Can you try it? Yeah, go ahead. Go along the bottom there and fill it in good. Just squeeze the trigger, right? Oh, you don't know how to use a caulk gun? Yeah, you keep squeezing it. Keep yeah. It ratches. It's like a ratchet. So you got to keep squeezing. You need muscles! Okay, I don't have muscles. All right. <laughs> Oh. Is this the kind that like blows up or will it stay? It'll stay like this. Oh. Alright. You're squeezing awfully hard. Yep. Right, because there's only like a little tiny hole. I should have cut more of the tip off. Is it too late to do that? Uh, yeah, because then I have to take, well, not really, but I'd have to take it out and recut it, and I don't want to touch it. <laughs> I understand. Okay. It does have guts of worm on it. <laughs> guts of worm. Nasty old food. Smelling like, you know what? It really does stink. You want me to take over? Um, it's kind of hard to squeeze. I'm going to warn you. Y'all, yeah, y'all, it stinks so bad down in there. It's really gross. <laughs> We're like caulking over a bunch of old dead worms and wetness. Yeah, I get close enough to seal in that gap. There you go. Alright, so, 
from the bottom of the ramp I went up most of the way and that one right there didn't have much of a gap it's a plane flying over and then we're going to do the same on this side just go up up the ramp along that edge there fill in that gap all right so we went most of the way up we didn't have to go all the way to the top of the ramp because we get ready to show you what we're going to do we got two pieces of scrap two by threes and we're going to lay them one on this side like this one on this side like this to funnel the bsf or the black soldier fly larvae into the bucket because we lost a lot of them last year because the opening was so wide that they were falling on the side but we're going to funnel them so that they all fall in that bucket there. We're just trying to use up the rest of this, this tube of caulk because um, the tip is really gross and I don't want to use it for anything else. <laughs> so put you a bead. I'm going to yeah. do it on this side so you can flip it over. Yeah, that'll work. And do you want a zigzag? You can do it as fancy or unfancy as you like. And we're using liquid nails for this. If we were still in the building stages, I would screw from underneath the ramp. But I don't want to take this apart. No. <laughs> now what we need to do is run a bead up the edge, the inner edge. Yeah. Yep, right there, just to block that from from your BSF from getting through that crack. Go all the way up the whole thing. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. And same thing on this side? Yep, same thing both sides. All right, y'all. So the last thing I need to do, and I'm waiting for my drill to charge up, is I'm going to drill some drainage holes in the in the bottom of this part I'll probably drip put uh, I don't know just drill some random holes in it all right do we want to start this off with dry dog food this year yeah so last year when it got all soaking wet what we did was put a 20 pound bag of dry dog food in there to soak right. up the moisture and that dog food lasted for weeks yes it did yes it did they really loved it they got all into it and yeah and it sucked up a lot of the moisture from the food and the rain that had happened. Yeah. So that was really good. Yeah. Yes, it was. I think uh, if we started off with the dog food, then... Then we have a base layer. We already have a base layer. Of All right, so you guys can see how that's going to work. They'll come up, come up through this way and then fall directly into the ground. Wind is too much. It is a lot of wind. <laughs> Alright, I got a little tiny, tiny, the smallest drill bit I could find. And once I use this on this bin, I'm going to be throwing this away because this bin is so gross. So I'm just going to drill some random holes in there. Good old drainage holes. Okay, so that project is done. <laughs> 